Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Common Council meeting. Before we start each meeting, we always ask our city clerk to read the quote for the week. Now, we all know she did that last night. So you get two quotes for the week this time around. Madam City Clerk. Thank you. Each new hour holds new chances for new beginnings. The horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change. Thank you very much. <laughs> call the first regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Balk. Here. Decker. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Kittleson. Here. Clayunis. Here. Meyer. Here. Montemayor. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Ryan. Here. Surik. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Verhasselt. Here. And Wangaman. Here. 16 present. Quorum is present. Next item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. And I will ask uh, our city clerk, Sue Richards, to lead us. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag. flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Madam City Clerk. Next item on the agenda is the invocation. I would ask uh, Andrew Hopp from the Zion Evangelical Covenant Church to please uh, lead us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the fullness and the richness of all the blessings you have given our community. We thank and praise you for the beauty of your creation that we see here in our wonderful lakefront and in our gorgeous parks. We thank you, Lord, for all the homes and the buildings, both the new and the old, the big and the small, that give our city its distinctive visual character, but most of all, Lord, we thank you for the greatity of people that make up our neighborhoods, for they are truly the heart of our city. This evening, Lord, we thank you especially for the members of this Common Council and for guiding and bringing them to serve our city as aldermen and alderwomen. Lord, we ask that you fill them with wisdom and to help them to always be open and responsive to their constituents. Lord, keep them strong in their individual convictions, but God also help them to be respectful and receptive to considering the opinions of others. Lord, may the discussion and the debates in these chambers and at every city meeting, may it be characterized by a spirit of honesty and integrity. Lord God, help and guide Mayor Perez all of our city department heads, all of these elected officials gathered here, and everyone who serves our city in whatever capacity. May they all be guided by the words of your great commandment. May all their actions, their words, and all their deeds show that they truly love the Lord and that they love their neighbors as themselves. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. Hopp. The next item on the agenda is one of the highlights of this first meeting, and that's the swearing in of the newly elected alderman. I would ask that all eight of you please step forward to get sworn in. Would you all, <clears throat> excuse me, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, please say your name. I, 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 swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties. Discharge the duties of the office of alder person. Of the office of alder person. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.
Congratulations. You're crushing victory. All right. Watch your stuff. Next item on the agenda is the adopting of the rules of the Common Council. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the rules which govern the preceding Common Council be accepted as the rules of this Common Council. Second. Motion and second to adopt the rules of the Common Council. Is there any discussion? There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Rules are adopted. Next item is the election of President and Vice President of Common Council. President Hanna. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> I move that the nominations be received from the floor for President and the voting to be done by closed ballot. If more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting continue until one candidate receives a majority. Yes. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, we will proceed with the election. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you, do you need a, do you, you don't need a vote on that. Yes, we do. All, All in favor aye. of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Nominations. Right, yes, for that. So he's got to pass them up. Oh, right now, we would ask for to. nominations from the floor. Yes, for president. Nominations for the office uh, for the position of president of the Common Council. Nominate Mark Hanna for president of the Common Council. Second. second. There's a motion and a second to nominate uh, Alderman Hanna for the Common Council. Uh, hit your buttons, please. Alderman Clay Eunice. Thank you, Your Honor. I was going to do the same. You want to do the same? Are there any other nominations for the uh, position of president? Or are there any nominations? Then I need a motion to uh, close, close nominations and elect the person. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I make a motion to close the nominations. Second. And the person nominated be elected. And the person nominated be elected. Is there there's a second? Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> Next uh, position is the election of the vice president. I ask for nominations. We have. You don't need to read. The I'm, I'm going to go by lights. Are there any nominations for the office of for the position of vice president? Alderman Heidemann. I'd like to nominate Jim Bourne, Alderman Bourne, for vice president of the council. Is there a second to that? Second. There's a second. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations for the position of vice president? There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to close nominations. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion to close the nominations. Second. And Cast the ballots for the Cast person nominated. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have uh, a few elections that uh, we typically do at this time, and they are for the City Plan Commission. We will ele uh, elect one, or you will elect one. And then we will elect a representative on, on the Board of Contractors Examiners and two representatives on Capital Improvements Commission. We will take City Plan Commission first. Are there any nominations for City Plan Commission? We have Alderman Gisha. We have to have. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. We have to have Alderman Hanna do the motion first. Okay, hold on. Sorry, sitting down. City Plan President? Uh, this is, I move that nominations be received from the floor for the City Plan Commission and voting to be done in open ballot, if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and the balloting continue until one candidate receives the majority. Second. There's a motion to second uh, to establish a process here. Is there any discussion on that? There being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We'll take nominations from the floor now. Alderman Gisha. 
Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to uh, nominate uh, Alderperson Marilyn Montemayor for the City Planning Commission. Second. There's a motion and a second to nominate Montemayor for the City Planning Commission member. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to uh, appoint the person, select the person to seize the nomination. Mr. Mayor, I'd make a motion to close the nominations and appoint the elected. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next election is a representative on the Board of Contractors Examiners. Oh, oh, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would like to nominate Eric Rinflesh. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second to nominate uh, Alderman Rinflesh. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? There be none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Make a motion to close the nomination and cast the ballot for the nominated individual. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> Next election and the final one, we have uh, two representatives to, uh, to the Capital Improvements Commission. I would ask for nominations from the floor. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to nominate Alderman Vicki Meyer, press, past uh, chair of Public Works. Motion and second. We need. Uh, we need. Who seconded it? Dan. Do we take one at a time or two? Uh, we can take another one. Is there any for the second one? Uh, uh, President Hanna. Thank you. I'd like to nominate Alderperson Kittles. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. There's a motion. Uh, two motions on the floor. Actually, we'll combine both. Motion to appoint uh, Alderman Monte. Uh, Monte, uh, Alderman Meyer and Alderman Kittleson. Are there any nominations? Are there any other nominations? There be none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Motion to close the nominations and cast our ballots in favor of both candidates. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> At this time, I need a motion to recess. Uh, where. Uh, the mayor of the city clerk will leave, and uh, President Hanna will uh, take over for the election of the committee of the whole. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. to open it. Just this right here. Just this. And it's going to be closed ballot, right? <clears throat> it's an open ballot. Okay. I move that nominations be received from the floor and voting be done by open ballot. If more than one candidate, uh, more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting continue until one candidate receives the majority. We need a second on all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Passes. I would entertain nominations from the floor. I don't know how to work this. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. I would like to nominate Alderman for Hassel. Alderman Ryan. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to uh, nominate Alderman Corey Balk. Second. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? I would make a motion that we close the nominations and cast our ballots. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 nice up here. <laughs> Lots of stuff to play with. 
You get one, but only one. I only get one? <laughs> you can always give up the presidency and become the chairman of the committee of the whole and sit up there once a month. Don't make it. Is the magic button under here? I can push that too. Energy and juice combined. And hopped up juice. 50% juice, 50% juice, derivatives of caffeine. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. But it's not the big ring. It's, like, uh, it's like drinking out of a coffee can. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce that Alderperson Bauck, uh, by a vote of 11 to 5, will be the chair of the Committee of the Whole. Congratulations. I need a motion to adjourn the Committee of the Whole. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Right. Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Reconvene to an open session. So moved. A second. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. At this time, the report by Council President on the election of the Committee of the Whole Chairman. I actually did report already. Sorry. Uh, the, uh, the open ballot was. Uh, I'm sorry. Is my mic on? Yeah.
mics on. By open ballot and a vote of 11 to 5, Alderman Corey Bauck is Chairman of the Committee of the Whole. Congratulations, Alderman Bauck. Thank you very much, President Hanna. We have three more items before we, we move into the actual agenda, which is not a very long agenda. First item is President of the Council's message. President Hanna, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll keep it short. All my flattering comments about Alderman Gisha I will leave out. <clears throat> First, I would like to thank the members of the Common Council for their vote of confidence. Uh, it's, it's really rewarding after a year of, of, law, of hard work uh, to be collectively recognized, and I appreciate that. We all share a love for our city and continue to work collectively to improve the quality of life here in Sheboygan. Under very difficult financial circumstances, in conjunction with the efforts of our Mayor Perez, we have maintained and improved the services delivered to the citizens of Sheboygan. Holding the line on taxes and delivering a high level of service requires a team effort. I look forward to another year of opportunities. We continue to support the existing businesses in our community and will do everything in our power to help them grow. Working with Sheboygan County, and the Chamber of Commerce, we will launch new efforts this year to build our commercial base. It has been a very busy year. Some of the projects that we have accomplished during this year either started and completed or completed the successful municipal court, the new police station. We paid off very expensive pension debt. We launched a very successful early retirement program. We added patrolmen to the Sheboygan Police Department. Never enough for Chief Kirk, but we did add patrolmen. We launched a new health care We added new businesses to the industrial park, new hotels and office buildings in our downtown. And we launched, as we learned last night, we launched a successful fire-based ambulance. I would be remiss if I did not recognize the sacrifice that my wife, Deb, and my daughter, Jessica, make so that I may fully participate in the business of the city. I look forward to working with the returning Alder persons and getting to know our new associates. You are wonderful teammates, and together we can have a positive impact on Sheboygan. Mayor Perez, thank you for your hard work and leadership. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get back to work. Thank you. Well spoken. Next is the uh, Committee of the Whole Chairman message, Alderman Bauck. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'll start by saying thank you to my colleagues uh, for electing me to this role. Uh, I think what I'd like to see the Committee of the Whole become is a, a venue for information, more information sharing uh, on a less formal basis. I think I'd like us to meet regularly once a month for 60 to 90 minutes. Each time, uh, we'll invite a department head or some other member of the community who has information to share on a very big, important topic. Uh, things like the police station, the ambulance service, uh, business attraction, things of those nature, where we can learn. Uh, and I think I'd like to put it out into the city at different venues, places like the Maywood Education Center, places like the Senior Center and the Roker Room at the library, where uh, people can come and be a part of our discussion. Uh, open it up to them, be a little less kind of imposing than doing it in here, uh, where, where citizens can raise their hand and ask some questions and they can get smart right along uh, as we learn uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that, that's it. Uh, I, I will have just one fawning comment about Alderman Gisha, and that would be he made an excellent choice of spouse. She sent beautiful flowers. He made one good choice. <laughs> Thank you, Alderman Bauck. And since we're picking an Alderman Gisha, <laughs> this little scar you see on my face wasn't done by him. I actually had very minor surgery this, this afternoon, so it wasn't you, as people thought. The next item, of course, is the mayor's message. Uh, and I'd like to start now. Good evening, citizens of Sheboygan. Alderman. Attorney McLean, Madam City Clerk Sue Richards, 
Congratulations to the new aldermen, Jody Vanderwill, Ed Surick, Jeremy Decker. Welcome to the Common Council. Welcome to uh, the Common Council also, Alderman Ryan, Kittleson, Boren, Clayunas, and Hannah. It's great to have you back. Tonight is a night of reflection. It is a night to take full measure of our exceptional accomplishments last year. Tonight is also a night to look towards the future and prepare ourselves for the enormous challenges we will face. You have given me your trust and support, and I thank you for that. The next few years ahead of us will be filled with difficult challenges as we work to provide you with the basic services you expect, pay for, and deserve. Before I speak to you about the challenges we will face together, allow me to share with you some of the remarkable changes that we have made together, for we have much to be pleased with. When I first ran for mayor three years ago, I said, it's time for a change. I believed it, and the people who elected me believed it. Many of you aldermen believed it also. We believe we could do better and make things better at City Hall and in the manner in which the government serves the people. Since then, a lot of change has occurred. It is change that matters. It is change that has made a difference in people's lives. It takes conviction to chart a course of deliberate change that will matter and it will make a difference. The people of Sheboygan elected me to make the necessary changes to improve their city government. And with your support, I will see to it that those changes are effectively made. Our legacy as public servants lies not in our personal agendas, but in the overall good work we leave behind for others to continue to make life better and more enjoyable for all citizens of Sheboygan. Let me share with you some of the changes that we have made together that really mattered and made a difference in the, lives of, in the lives of the people of Sheboygan. We changed how we feel about our parks and green space. We have restored the Board of Parks and Forestry Commission and enacted a new ordinance that makes it very difficult to target and destroy our parks and green space. We recently approved our comprehensive park and recreation and open space plan, and we are making significant improvements in all our parks. We have changed how we feel about law enforcement. We are finally building a new police station that is state of the arts for our police department that they needed so bad for many, many years. This year, we added several police officers to the patrol division. We are better equipped in our police officers with the tools and resources they need to protect our citizens from crime. They have been provided with tasers, rifles, portable public radios, video recorders for the squad cars, a repeater for the joint drug unit, and a dive boat and motor for the county city joint dive team, to name a few of the resources that they have recently received. We have changed how we feel about the cleanliness of our city. Our Clean City Initiative has worked remarkably well the Building Inspection Division received 743 nuisance violations this year. 1,287 inspections were made due to those complaints. Of the complaints, there were 613 violations. 580 were remedied. 30 were abated, and 129 citations were issued. Our program is working very, very effectively. We have changed how we feel about our infrastructure. We have given our infrastructure the priority it needs. The engineering division completed projects totaling $2.5 million. Those projects included 1.76 million of bituminous resurfacing and 1.53 miles of sanitary sewer lining, sidewalk replacement, riprap construction at the Green Wing and Gateway Regional Stormwater Management Retention Ponds, sanitary sewer work on 23rd Street for the new police station, and reconstruction of the Sheboygan River boardwalk. We have also changed how we feel about our local businesses. Economic development loans totaling 750000 were awarded to the area businesses. The loans supported the creation of 84 new jobs and the retention of 500 jobs. We have also changed our attitude restrictions on signage, outdoor seating, and sidewalk displays of appropriate store products. We have changed how we feel about increasing taxes every year. We have not increased our levy and our tax rate, by, and by not doing so, we have saved the taxpayers a little over $2 million. 
It is critical for our citizens to our, it is critical for our citizens to know that the city is only one of six taxing jurisdictions that collects their taxes. The school district and recreation department collects 38 percent of every dollar. The county collects 22 cents of every dollar. Lakeshore Technical College collects six percent of every dollar. In the state of Wisconsin, they can't stay behind. They collect one percent. So what do we collect? The city of Sheboygan collects 33 percent of your tax dollar. It is important to note that when this, these many, this many entities are taxing our citizens, it is not easy, it is very easy, I should say, for our efforts to, and hard work to go unnoticed and at times maybe even unappreciated. I thank you for having the political will to be responsive to the taxpayer when they ask us not to increase their taxes anymore. Folks, we have made a lot of changes. That is what good government is about. Old standards or substandards are no longer acceptable. We need to continually strive to make things better and better. For all that, we have done well. We will continue to work hard to make city government more efficient and cost effective, and we will be challenged to institute even more change. We will change how we view our community when it comes to recognizing that our economy and the environment are interdependent. For that reason, I will be asking you to create a sustainable Sheboygan task force. I have asked Alderman Clay Yunus to chair the task force, and she has graciously agreed. Among several things, the task force will be charged with establishing sustainable practices for our community, establishing reasonable and trackable standards and benchmarks for sustainable community improvements, and identifying strategies for, for moving towards sustainable community development. This effort should also result in substantial tax savings to our taxpayers. We will have to change our attitude about some of our neighborhoods that are starting to deteriorate. Our old will no longer be viewed as simple old neighborhoods and left at that. For that reason, we will be designating three areas that will be targeted for neighborhood revitalization. The first area is primarily in District 2, but some parts touch Districts 3 and 8. It is the area west of 9th Street to to East 13th Street from Superior to Erie Avenue. The second area is in the south side from Broadway Avenue to Indiana Avenue from 8th Street to 17th Street. And visualize these in terms of, of huge city blocks. The, th the third area is from Pennsylvania Avenue to Huron Avenue from Broden Drive to, to 17th Street, to 6th Street, I should say. We will be working hard to leverage millions of dollars in state, federal, and some local sources in these three areas. The result, again, will be substantial tax savings to our residents and a great look and sense of pride for these targeted areas. We will have to change how we view our lakefront. For many years, our lakefront has lacked the attention and resources necessary for people who own homes by the lake and people who visit our lake to enjoy our lakefront. For that reason, I will be asking you to approve a lakefront management program that will address the concerns that restrict the full enjoyment of our lake. We will have to change how we view our technology. For many years, our old AS400 system has, has met our needs, but not very well. It is no longer an adequate system. There are two areas that are in dire need of technological improvement. The first area is within the Sheboygan Police and Fire Department. We need to change our old system and replace it with a new CAD RMS program. Our current system is basically obsolete. It lacks innovation and has limited adequate support services. Some of our goals are to strengthen and improve our city county shared services, increase productivity by eliminating redundancy and unnecessary tasks, utilize new technology to improve public protection and safety, and enhance the overall program by making it more simple timely, accurate, and complete information responses to the city and the county. The second area is within the fire, finance department. We need to change our current aging system to a new financial, financial information system. After many months of evaluation and due diligence, we will be implementing this new software program. Some of the benefits of this system include it is a single integrated system, it streamlines processes and workflows, it reduces redundant data entry and processes. 
It allows for information sharing amongst departments, and it increases efficiency and access in data. I've outlined for you some of the changes we have made and continue to need to be, to make, be making. There will be more changes that need to be made in the future as we move on, but changes by, in, by themselves may not have a significant impact unless they're part of a bigger picture. I said last night that all of us want what is best for Sheboygan. Many of us just have a different way or frame of mind on how to make that happen. Our formidable task is to reconcile those differences and unite us to make the necessary changes to achieve the necessary results for the taxpayers of Sheboygan. I would like to share with you my big picture, my vision of Sheboygan. It is basically the same vision I had when I became mayor. I envision a Sheboygan that progressively moves forward into the future, making the necessary changes to be a vibrant community, economically, socially, and ethically, yet still maintaining its genuine and beloved small town flavor. I envision a Sheboygan where our children and grandchildren grow up in a city where government is sensitive and responsive to their needs and give them good reasons to love Sheboygan and to be proud of it. I envision a Sheboygan that will create a social and economic environment where our senior citizens and the rest of our residents can simply afford to live in Sheboygan and in turn encourage others to do so. I envision a Sheboygan that will create economic conditions and opportunities that will encourage our children to go to college or technical college and come back to their hometown to make it better instead of moving away and making some other community better. I envision a Sheboygan where we have safe people-oriented neighborhoods where our children and their children do not have to be fearful of gangs, illegal drugs, trafficking, or other crimes. I also envision a Sheboygan where our citizens do not have to work hard and spend hard earned to maintain their properties while having to look out their windows and see garbage. No one should have to do that. I envision a Sheboygan that respects and protects its parks and green space for those of today and those of tomorrow. I envision a Sheboygan that is sustainable by being energy independent and conserving as much energy possible while implementing all strategies possible to move us into the future as a viable, sustainable community. I also envision a Sheboygan that bends over backwards to make our local businesses feel welcome, taken care of, and appreciated. I envision a Sheboygan that appreciates those who depend on transit to go to work, to the doctor, to school, to the pharmacy, and all those important places that are very important to their lives. I envision a Sheboygan that appreciates our first-class library system as one that is not only for, the enjoy for our enjoyment, but also for the enjoyment of future generations to come. And finally, I envision a Sheboygan where the Common Council and the Mayor respect each other, support each other, and unite to serve the people of Sheboygan well and in good conscience. In closing, my vision balances what it takes to make life better and more enjoyable for all citizens with the, many, with the many competing demands and limited and dwindling resources. The changes we have made and need to make are closely connected to assuring that my vision is realized. I ask that you share my vision, or if you wish, add to my vision. This is my community. This is your community. This is our community. Let us ask God for God. Let us ask God for His guidance and strength to serve it well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next item is the mayor's appointments, Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. To the honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your confirmation. Uh, the first of the packet that all the older people have is the are the standing committees, and I'll read the names on the standing committees. Uh, the Finance Committee, James Gisha, Chairman, Gene Clyunas, Vice Chairman, Marilyn Montemeyer, James Boren, and Corey Bauk. 
Public Protection and Safety Committee, Mark Hanna, Chairman, Eric Rinfleisch, Vice Chairman, Robert Ryan, Joseph Heideman, and Gene Kittleson. To the Public Works Committee, Vicki Meyer, Chairman, Gene Kittleson, Vice Chairman, Gene Clyunas, Jeremy Decker, and Edward Surick. Salary and Grievances Committee, Marilyn Montemeyer, Chairman, Jim Gisha, Vice Chairman, Vicki Meyer, Jeremy Decker, Daniel Verhasselt. Law and Licensing Committee, James Boren, Chairman, William Wangeman, Vice Chairman, Jody Vanderweel, Edward Surick, and Joseph Heideman. Signed by the Mayor. Then the rest of the packet, pages one through nine, are appointments to the various uh, boards, commissions, and committees, which I won't read. Do we want them to read them all? <laughs> sure? Appointments, yes. Oh, no, it's yours. I, I made no notes. Appointments are not over. I know you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Attorney McLean. Next item on the agenda is public forum, and I don't believe we have any. Nobody. Oh, uh, Madam Senator Clerk. No. Nope. Thank you very much. Moving on, report of officers. 1-1 one, one, by the city clerk submitting a communication for the March of Dimes requesting permission to hold their March of Babies, March for Babies, on Saturday, April 26. I need a motion to accept and file. Please. I would move that the report of officers be accepted and filed. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. 1-2 and 1-3 to be referred. Resolutions introduced three, one four by Oliver, Alderman Hanna requesting that the mayor reactivate various <coughs> special committees for the 2008-09 year. President Hanna, put it upon his passage. Yes. I would move that we uh, put the resolution upon his passage. Second. Motion is second. Under discussion. There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. One five by Alder Persons Gisherick. Directing a public hearing for a change in the zoning regulation property at 1134 Ontario Avenue from urban industrial to urban commercial classification. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I move that the uh, resolution be accepted and adopted. Is there a second? Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 1-6, by all the persons Ryan and Bauk, granting the March of Dines permission to hold their March for Babies on Saturday, April 26. Alderman Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I ask that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second to put 1-6 upon its passage under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 1-7 and 1-8. Lies over to May 5th, 1 9 through 1 11 to be referred. Ordinance introduced 10, 1 12 to be referred. Other matters authorized by law to be referred, except 1 22, a resolution by Alderman Hanna giving preliminary approval to the industrial development project and the issuance of conduit revenue bonds on behalf of Safe Harbor of Sheboygan County Incorporated and calling for a public hearing with respect to such revenue bonds. President Hanna. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, all in favor say aye. I'm sorry. Aye. We're going to have to call the roll. Sorry about that. Yep. Got ahead of myself. Please call the roll. Boren? Aye. <clears throat> Bauk? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Man I'm sorry, Meyer? Aye. <laughs> it's an old habit. <laughs> Montemayor? Aye. Frinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. And Wangeman? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. And then we have other, a few other matters that we need to deal with. Uh, Attorney McLean. Uh, item 1-16 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a claim from William Hughes for alleged damages to his basement when a sewer backed up into the basement. That will be referred to risk management. 1-17 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Cindy Wundra stating her upset regarding snow removal issues near 
2007 Calumet Drive and the fact that grass has been left to grow in violation of the ordinance and stating that a bill was sent for snow removal even though the city promised the property owners snow removal before the road was ever built so close to the houses. That will be referred to Public Works. 1-18 is an RO by the City Clerk's Committee and communication from Sarah Ottman of JSM Communications requesting permission to hold a grand opening brat fry on June 21, 2008 and requesting that they be allowed to use six feet of the 12 feet of city sidewalk in front of their location at 730 Erie Avenue and to have the street parking blocked off in front of the store during this event. That will be referred to public protection and safety. 1-19 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Terrence Biggs of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Sheboygan County Stayer Center requesting permission to block off part of the street from Broadway and South 8th Street and Broadway and Lakeshore Drive from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. to hold a block party to show appreciation to their members, parents, and families for all their help over the past year. That would also be referred to public protection and safety. 1-20 is a resolution consenting to the assignment of lease between Arthur J. Labai and AW Real Estate LLC as to parcel two of the former Harbor Inn property. That will go to City Plan Commission. 1-21 is a resolution authorizing the proper city of Sheboygan officials to sign and enter into an agreement with Lakeshore Technical College for the purposes of providing clinical ride-along training for the LTC paramedic training program. That will be referred to public protection and safety. Need a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We stand adjourned.